Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving cellular reproduction. One major component to the cell reproduction is the division of the nucleus. The nucleus contains the DNA of a cell, and understanding cell division requires knowledge of many different DNA terms. This video will focus solely on DNA terms because learning about these complex processes while trying to wrap your head around a considerable number of new vocabulary terms might prove to be a bit too confusing. The picture on this slide exhibits some of the cell reproduction vocabulary terms that will be described in this slideshow. DNA in the form of chromatid, chromosomes, and chromatin. DNA is usually within two different forms within cells, chromatin and chromosomes. When cells are not dividing, which is the vast majority of the time, DNA is in a form called chromatin. Chromatin, exhibited on the left-hand side of the picture on this slide, is spread out all over the place in the nucleus. It is not very condensed or tightly wrapped. It is much easier for the uncondensed DNA in the cell to be copied or used. During the small segment of the time that the cell is actually dividing, DNA is found in a condensed or tightly wrapped up form called chromosomes. In this condensed form, it is much easier for the cell to evenly split the amount of DNA that ends up in the two newly formed daughter cells. Condensed DNA in the form of a chromosome is found on the right hand side of this picture. Each chromosome in itself is made up of some parts that are significant. One entire chromosome, when observed in a micrograph, or a picture of a chromosome using a microscope, appears like an X, exhibited in the picture to the right. Each chromosome consists of two halves, called chromatid. Both chromatid and one chromosome contain the exact same information. These two chromatid are tied together with a structure that's called a centromere. The term centro looks like center, which might help you remember where the structure is located. A karyotype is a micrograph of all of an individual's chromosomes. An example of a karyotype is shown on the right. Humans typically have 46 chromosomes. Some individuals possess fewer or more chromosomes than are typical. Disorders that result from these differences will be discussed in the next unit on genetics. These 46 chromosomes are in essence 23 pairs of chromosomes. 23 chromosomes are from an individual's mother and 23 are from their father. All of the blue chromosomes in the picture on this slide came from this individual's father, while all of the pink chromosomes from this individual came from that individual's mother. Chromosome pairs in humans are numbered 1 through 22. The last pair are referred to, as this image shows, as sex chromosomes. The karyotype on this slide would belong to a male, as this individual has one X and one Y chromosome. As I just described on the previous slide, most cells within the human body, called somatic or body cells, contain chromosomes that are found in pairs. These similarly structured chromosomes, as exhibited in the picture to the right, are called homologous chromosomes. The prefix homo means same, and the suffix logos refers to chromosomes. Both copies of chromosome 1 or chromosome 13, for example, have the same genes or they control the same traits. Cells that have pairs of homologous chromosomes are referred to as diploid. The prefix di means two, and ploidy refers to the number of each chromosome that an individual possesses. Gametes, or sex cells, on the other hand, are referred to as haploid. When I learned this, I remember thinking that the prefix hap looked like the word half. In haploid cells, there are only half of the typical number of chromosomes that an organism possesses. Gametes, or sex cells, on the other hand, are referred to as haploid. When I learned this, I remember thinking that the prefix hap looked like the word half. In haploid cells, there are only half of the typical number of chromosomes that an individual has. 23 chromosomes in humans instead of 23 pairs. When two gametes combine during sexual reproduction, you end up returning to the typical or diploid number of chromosomes. That is the end of this video introducing cellular reproduction DNA vocabulary terms. If you are interested in learning about any other topics relating to cellular reproduction or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.